Hey guys, it's Ryan here, and today we're going to do this kind of effect, um, it's called Sky Replacement, and this is what it should look like after it is done, and this is the before footage, and that is the after footage of it all edited together. Alright, so now I'm going to teach you how to do it with this brand new composition that I made of the exact same footage. Alright. So what you want to do is you want to have your sky in the background and this tutorial is a sky replacement advanced tutorial and make sure it is bigger than your comp size. So if your comp size is 940 by 660 something then um, make sure it's about uh, 1000 to uh, 800. So anyway. Alright, so now we're going to add the effect in. And what you have to do is you have to duplicate your layer three times. And make sure you're on the top layer. And you're going to go to effect, color correction, cor colorama. And it should do this to your top video. Now, all you have to do is go to output cycle and change it to ramp gray. And this could also apply for a black and white movie, but that's not what we're going to do it for. So basically what this effect does is it's going to blacken the entire background except for where the sky, sh where you want the sky to be. So all you have to do is click kind of 9 o'clock, which is about here. And then we got this everything black except for the sky. Now this isn't good enough, but it will work for right now. Okay, so now you're going to click in the middle of the black and white arrows and you're going to add a white layer and you're going to click OK and then that should change your sky up. Now we're probably going to have to go back and change these settings later on but for now this is going to work. Alright so what you want to do is you want to click on um, the tracking mat for the one below this footage right here and you're going to go to Luma inverted mat and it should go back to your original and all you have to do is turn off this layer right here and you got your sky. Now as you can see the trees look really fake and I did not know you could do this until I was kind of experimenting with the sky replacement and you can tell how some parts still have the sky in them but um, you can change that so by this layer right here. Now you're gonna go back to your color wheel and now we're just trying to get the trees. I know you'll see more of the sky but well, we can fix that. So all you're going to do is you're going to tweak the settings until you can see the um kind of the oh whoops kind of the like blue and the trees going away. So maybe you go like this. All right, and that should work. Now the trees look more realistic, but now you you can see the sky in your footage. But all you have to do is duplicate one layer and this layer you want to turn on but not yet so you're gonna get the box shape mask and get your basic what you want basic which is right here and now you're just gonna turn it on and you should have the original footage below now you want to change the rest of it and what you're gonna to have to do is you're gonna to have to do the pin tool and just go in locations that um, are kind of look fake and make it look more realistic so you kinda of want to edit all of this together and you kind of you'll get you get the idea but um that's this is how you would do it kind of real this is gonna these are gonna be rough shape masks but it's how you can get rid of it so you get the more realistic look and if there's some areas you don't like like ex definitely this house back here you want to change and then you want to enclose it, like so. And then you can still kind of see the sky right there. Just blend it in. And here's a very rough, there's what it should look like. It's kind of rough, you can still see the sky, but all you have to do is just keep doing shape masks around it until you get it to the setting that you like. And your clip should play the way it was supposed to play. And now we're going to go back and change the sky settings a little bit. And I'm sorry if you can hear the TV in the background. I don't know if you can or not, but if you can, then I apologize. Okay, For in so anyway, what you're going to do is you're going to get the sky, and you're going to click P for position, 
And then you can do all the way to the end of your clip and just push it slowly until you get to the very end of your sky. Or maybe not the end, maybe halfway. And you can tell the shape masks were done really bad. So I'll go change those up. But no, I'm not gonna mess with it. But anyway, now you got the kind of moving sky. Now you got the kind of more animation effect to it, as you can see right here. Alright, and so thank you for watching this tutorial, and if you have any more tutorial requests or comments about this tutorial that you didn't understand, please write a comment, and I will go back over it specifically for you in either email, email or another video, and if you still don't get that, just give me a private message or something. Alright, so now I give you no further ado, I say goodbye.